Hi there, my name is Brooke from Genai. I'm here to give you an introduction to the HTC Snap mobile device. We'll start from the beginning. I'll take you through some of the shortcuts on the phone and the tips and tricks you can use to help navigate. There are four key shortcuts you can use from the front screen. Firstly, you can hold down one to dial voicemail. It takes you straight into your voicemail box. Secondly, you can use the hash key to turn the phone to vibrate. This is great for going in and out of meetings. If you hold down the vibrate key again, it switches the phone back to the profile you were using. Holding down the star key from the front screen locks the phone. And to unlock it, simply press the left selection key and then the star key again. Finally, pressing the green key or the one you use to answer a call will bring up your call history. Here you can view dialed numbers, received calls and missed calls. In terms of the quickest way to make a phone call, what you can do from the front screen is start by typing out the person's name. As you start typing, you'll notice names start appearing. Scroll down and highlight the name you wish to call. And down the right hand side of the phone, you'll notice either an M for mobile, H for home, TXT for text, or E for email. The left selection key takes you straight into actioning that. To use the phone while on a call, Press the menu key and scroll down. What you should see is you get the option to view contacts and view calendar. If you wish to access an area outside of those, simply press the back key and it will take you to the home screen. Here, as long as you avoid pressing the hang up key, you can access any area on the phone. Before you can set up Bluetooth on your device, make sure that your Bluetooth product is switched on and in pairing mode. To set up Bluetooth on the phone, press the start menu and then settings. Scroll down and select more, select connections, and then Bluetooth, and then Bluetooth again, and then add new device. What it will do is search for available Bluetooth devices and it should show your hands free in that list. If you select the device from that list, it will have a go at pairing the device and it should come up with a passcode that you need to enter. Now usually this is either one, two, three, four, or four zeros, and then press the middle key. Before you can set up email on the device, you will need to get the domain name and the server address from your IT department. Once you have those settings, to set up email on your device, click the start menu, scroll down and select Active Sync. In Active Sync, click menu and then click add server source. Enter your email address. Before clicking next, scroll down and uncheck the box that says attempt to detect exchange server settings automatically. Now you can click next. Here you can enter the server address you've gained from the IT department. Once you've entered that, you can click next. This screen is where you can enter your username and password. This is the same as the username and password you would use to log onto your PC. Underneath that, you can enter the domain name, which you should have got from your IT department. Once you've done that, click Next. Here you can select the things you wish to synchronize with. Once you've selected the things you wish to synchronize with, click Finish.